What is good, beautiful people? You're looking great today. I hope you're killing it, crushing it, getting after it. So I want to hop on here real quick and speak my mind a little bit. Um, and yeah, kind of just roll with uh, speaking out loud and you know, kind of things have been going through my thoughts lately. So this one is about success. So cheers, here we go. So what does success mean to you? You know, success to me isn't about how much money I make. It's not about who I'm friends with, what kind of car I drive, what my job is, where I live, how cool I am, and who I'm dating. It's about how I fucking feel. But please, if if you do not feel happy, if you don't feel positive every single day and are thankful that you have air in your lungs, are healthy and simply exist in this world, please begin the discovery of what needs to change. Success comes down to having grit. So what is grit? It's a series of monotonous behaviors repeated over and over and over again. And you must give 100% of your energy all of the time. Focus towards this grit. Focus towards these monotonous behaviors. And there's no excuse for not giving 100% all the time when it is 100% your choice. When you choose to not follow through on what you need to do, that is 100% on you. You know what it takes to look yourself in the mirror at the end of the day and say, I gave it 100%. I gave it my all. You must remain focused on the things that will drive your success. And do it every single day. Not every couple days or every couple weeks or every couple months. You, know, you must remind yourself every single day. Manifest it every single day. And you know, human beings in general, people in general, severely underestimate the amount of progress that can be made in five years and overestimate the amount of progress that can be made in five months. So this is where procrastination comes, becomes relevant. Your capacity expands to the time allotted to do any task. If I tell myself if I, tell myself I have an entire day to do something, odds are I'll take the entire day to do it and I won't do it until midnight of that day. Especially if it is a task that I know will not take me the entire day to complete. However, let's flip it, let's do a 180. If I tell myself I have one hour to do a task that I know will take two hours to complete, my capacity immediately expands because I have no choice not to if I want the task to get done. So I wanted to go off script here for a quick second and something that has helped me with my productivity over the past couple months and couple weeks is each and every day I'll make a list of at least five things that I want to accomplish that day. Not, not super easy, simple stuff like brushing my teeth or, um, I don't know, eating or something like that. You know, tasks that I know will move me in the right direction into becoming something that I want to become. So typically it's you know, working out in the morning. Um, you know, I'll have these daily posts that I want to do for social. Um, kind of difficult tasks that, calls that I have to make with clients um, for my, my coaching and whatnot. Difficult things that kind of put me out of my comfort zone that I know will move me in the right direction. And I'll cross them off each time I do them. So I remember back in college, I used to have, I used to live and die by my planner. So my planner is now, has since moved on my phone, my notes app. So that's where I'll put my, my list of things to do each day. And instead of crossing them off, I'll just, I'll just bold in them, highlight them bold or whatever you want to call it. So, you know, and then I'll move on to the next task. And Basically, if, if I do every single task that I want to get done, that's that's a win for me. So I'll put a W, and you know, it goes my record. So I started doing this. So I actually started doing this yesterday. So you know, I did everything I wanted to do yesterday on my list, so I'm one and out. I'm trying to keep that win streak. So that's helped my productivity, and all I'm trying to do is win each and every day. And as long as I have more wins than I have losses at the end of the week, you win the week. As long as I have more wins and then losses at the end of the month, then you in the month, in the year, in a life, your life, so and so on. And all of this talk, discussion on productivity just leads to my next point, which is the power of visualization, which was my motivational Wednesday post today on my fitness page. So you must visualize your success, make it a real vision, make it tangible. Now have a visualization of where you want to go with your life. And also thank people who show you what it takes to get to that next level your mentors, your inspiration from social or your family. You know, for me, 
know, my parents, super motivational, super inspirational, super hardworking, show me what it takes to work hard, um, but also love the people that are closest to you. Um, and then also some of my social media, people that I follow, just Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary V, um, Bradley Martin, Christian Guzman in the fitness industry, motivated me, inspired me to set out on my own fitness journey. And I'm just super appreciative for for them. All of this to also say, remain humble, but also remain hungry at the same time. And also surround yourself with people who are going to push you, who are already successful, who are doing what you want to be doing. So that when you begin to find success, when you begin to realize that, you also realize that you're just getting started. So I wanna wrap up this little segment on success pretty quickly with a couple last points. The first being that big goals inspire big actions. Big actions produce big results. And we place the level of our goals. And the work comes before the belief. So you have to model your behavior, your actions, after someone who is doing exactly what you want to be doing, as I mentioned before. Confidence comes from these big, goal, big goals and modeling your behavior after people that are, that are in the space that you want to be in, that are doing what you want to be doing. So just trust that you know, if you're putting in the work each and every day, you're giving it your all, you're giving it 100% that everything will pan out. So if you think about it, what does it take to actually become successful? To do the you know, achieve goals that you want to set out on. And oftentimes it's it's just about doing the same thing over and over again. Monotonous work, if you will, but showing up every single day. So if you think about it in the grand scheme of things, fitness, working out, exercising is is pretty boring. You're doing the same thing over and over again, hoping that you know you'll you'll lose the weight, you'll you'll gain the muscle, and it's hard to see that each and every day, if you know, you're looking at yourself in the mirror every single day, it's hard to see that progress. And you know, when, when you're overweight specifically, it takes a tremendous amount of faith in the work to know that it's going to pan out for you. And fitness business, fitness business in, in your career are so in parallel with how they work. If you do the monotonous things, the boring things, and show up every single morning, every single day, ready to win that day, win that week, win that month, win that year, over and over and over again, nothing can stop you. And that's what grit is. That's how you win the day. That's how you win your life. And just wanted to conclude with that one quote that I mentioned a little bit back when I first started um, this episode, if you will. And that's, you must give 100% all the time. And there's no excuse for not giving 100% all the time when it is 100% your choice. And when you choose not to follow through on what you need to do, what you say you're gonna do, that is 100% on you. You know what it takes to look yourself in the mirror at the end of the day and say, I gave it my all. I gave it 100%. So that's all I got for this episode. I hope you guys took some value from it. And I really appreciate you taking some time out to listen to what I had to say. Uh, if you made it through the entire episode, Really appreciate it. It means the world to me. I love you so much. And I'm you know, just trying to speak to what, you know, it's on my mind right now. And I'm glad that, you know, you want to follow along if, if you're willing to follow along. So um, thank you guys so much for all the love and support, as always. And let's keep working hard, staying positive, staying optimistic, staying happy and good things will come. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.